More about government officials. There were three types of government officials. One was the vizier, one was the chief treasurer, and one was the general of the armies. Let's talk about the vizier. The vizier had the most power in Egypt other than the pharaoh. The vizier looked out for the pharaoh, called out the duties, and also looked after the other government officials. He also served as a chief judge. He was expected to be fair, not biased to any side. Viziers were also often shown wearing white. A sign of neutrality. Next, the chief treasurer. The chief treasurer looked after all of the wealth. His main duty was to collect the taxes. Egypt economy was based on goods. Artifacts instead of money. People paid taxes with grain, cows, silver, and even beer. After the pharaoh, the top military commander was the general of the armies. He advised the pharaoh in matters of war and national security, such how to protect Egypt borders from invaders. He also helped the pharaoh make alliances with other kingdoms. Government officials were very wealthy and had a lot of time to socialize. They had very nice homes. They even ate roasted ducks, geese, pigeons, quail, antelope, wild sheep, and even goats. Dishes were piled high with figs, dates, grapes, and coconuts. Bread, cakes, honey, plenty of beer, and also wine completed the gigantic meal. Guests at banquets dressed in very nice linen clothing. Both men and women wore perfume. The pharaohs obviously were just one step above. At the start of the banquet, the, go the guests usually offered the host long blessings. They wished the host many riches, long life, and great health. They even said things like, The hosts would say thank you, and they also said, come and eat. The feast began with men and women sitting on opposite sides of the room. Servants were mostly women, and people ate with their hands. Because back in the day, there were no forks or spoons or knives. While the guests ate, the servants and women played songs with the guitars. Guests even clapped along.